you're listening and watching to a very special podcast. We're going to continue where we left off in Lola's point of view. Well, enjoy. Lola managed to enter inside. Hey, welcome back, Jean said. Yeah. So how was the dinner? Was she more than you would expect? Hitch said. Oh, she didn't even recognize the thing. Oh, in bloodshed. Oh, man. She is so clueless. She doesn't even know what I have in store for her. <laughs> you mean she didn't even suspect a thing? Hitch said. Nope, not even a thing. Oh, you are so good. Not bad, not bad. Sean put a hand on Lola's shoulder. Lola looked at him, and he smiled, saying, I knew you could do it. Thanks, Sean. <sighs> okay, so, there's, like, new worlds out there? Lola asked. Indeed. You know, these agents here sure know some things. Their powers. Mm -hmm. So, what's the plan? Well, if we're going to find more allies, we need to look really closely on what we're up against. We need to find someone that can maybe outsmart Luna. Maybe bring her down. The only way, right? Lola said, Yeah, that's pretty true. And I got a bad feeling that she's gonna find out that you're really faking it. The only time she's gonna find out that I'm faking it is that I am going to expose myself once she is brought down. <laughs> said Lola. Luna nodded. Effie nodded. Yeah, Effie said. But still, come on, can you have a little more backbone for her? I know, I know, sis. But I can't help but wonder if we're gonna... I don't want her to use Tomnus Necro. Oh, she's not gonna use it anymore. I believe in myself. Okay, what's this world called? Sternfeld City, said Lorraine. Sternfeld? Hmm. Nice. Very nice. <sighs> okay. So, like, I'm heading out for a mission. But wait, what about Sternfeld City that's full of superheroes? I mean actual superheroes. Look at this. See? They got a lot of them. Whoa! Wild Tiger, Blue Rose, Rock Bison, Fire Emblem, Sky High, Dragon Kid, and... What? Barnaby? What kind of superhero name is that? I believe that's his real name. He's not using a superhero name. Oh, man. Um, how come I can't see them as their other secret identities? Just superheroes. I think you're going to have to find out for yourself. Lorraine said. Now, this is really strange. I never heard of something like this. Marlo said. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Neither have I. Ugh. Well, I've heard of superheroes, but this is crazy. And get this, they're on mainstream live of this entertainment channel known as Hero TV. Well, that's very catchy. Very, very catchy. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Cool with that. Lola said. So, um, I've heard I got some sidekicks around here. You know where they are? Lola said. As if on cue, 
two young boys. One of them was only about about 10 years old, but he looked tall. He didn't even look like he was 10. The other one, well, he was 13, but he was, looked a lot pudgy and a lot more taller than the other skinny one. Make way! Make way! Make way! Make way! They both were saying, yeah! ah, Get out of the way! Lola said, and everyone did. And it, both of them fell to the ground in heaps. Oh! Ooh, that was pretty crazy, said the punch one. Hey! Why are you on top of me? The skinny one said. Uh, who knows? You don't want me to be on top of you? <laughs> oh, I sure, said the skinny one. <laughs> yes, Walter, said the pudgy one. You are a idiot, and flipped him over. Did I? <laughs> ow, 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 that <laughs> hurts. <laughs> said Oscar the pudgy guy. Yeah, you know how I feel, said the skinny one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, Walter, what can I do to make you feel better? Stop speaking <laughs> in French. I told you, I am not French. <laughs> I'm not, I am not French. <laughs> oh yeah? Why are you talking that way? I told you for the thousandth time. <laughs> I am Haitian, Jamaican, and Bahamian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell it to somebody else who cares, Oscar. Walter. <laughs> I mean, nothing. Hey, you too, Lala said. Enough with the goofiness. So you're my psychics? Lola said. The two of them look at each other and look back. Yeah, 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 we are, yeah, we are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know why. You guys are pretty funny. Well, he is French. I'm not French. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not French. I'm not, said Oscar. Oh, let me introduce myself. I am Oscar. Oscar Dorado, and I'm Walter Rosario. Hey, I to meet you. The two of them display cheesy smiles. Lola just looked at them. Okay, well, when you're done giggling and also laughing your butts off, I think maybe I could need your help. And so the two of them did help them out with the mission. But wait a sec, what are you looking for there? Walters asked. <laughs> Silly you, I'm going to Sternfield City. No, even better, I'm going to find somewhere far from Sternfield City. Because I have a feeling I need to go there for a reason. And what would you find? Oscar said. That I'm going to have to make sure of. So, Lola head off onto her first mission. While she was far from Sternfield City, she was at a different place. Somehow, it didn't look like the city. It looked like more of some sort of countryside. Wow. She was about to pass by a school, but then the school bell rang, and immediately Lola had to hide. Just then, she saw a few kids coming out. There were a lot, but then there was one of a little girl. Well, she wasn't little, but she was pretty much looking like she was either 10, 11, or 12 years old. She had brown hair. One of the strands was in like a ponytail, but the rest of her hair was down. And she was walking home from school. Watching her go, Lola decided to follow. 
She didn't know why, but she thought she had a bad feeling that this little girl could be in danger.